Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to install Android 7.0 Nougat in VirtualBox. Before I get started, I want to say that I'm sorry I didn't upload these past months, but I had to study for an important exam. But now I'm back and I'm going to upload every Friday again. Before we get started, I want to also ask you to please vote up in the poll what my next video should be about. Don't forget to share this video and if you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see more content like this, click that subscribe button and click that little bell alongside it to get notifications every time I upload a brand new video. Okay, so the only file that you will need is this ISO that I linked in the description. It's on my Google Drive. Don't get scared about the ad flight, I just use it to shorten the links. Also, I'll link down VirtualBox, the only software that you will need today. So let's just open it up. I'm gonna double click right now on it. Okay, so now VirtualBox should open. So you're gonna click new and you're gonna add a name to it. Android N, that's the one I'm gonna put. Now go to type and put in Linux into version other Linux 64 bit. Click next and put in an amount of RAM. I'm gonna give it two gigabytes of RAM memory. Click next and go create virtual hard drive now and select a format, click next. I recommend you fix size and click next. And then you can adjust the size, but I'm gonna let it, let it to eight gigabytes and you're gonna go and you can move it on other partitions or folders. I'm not gonna do that. So click create and I'm gonna fast forward at this point because it's a fixed size and it might take a while to create. If you hit dynamically, it's not gonna do this. It's gonna create it immediately. Immediately. So once this is done, it's gonna quit and you're gonna go to settings. So now it's gonna pop up a new window. And on the general tab, you don't want to change anything. Here on system, you're going to untick the box for floppy. You want to leave this check marks like they are right here. If you don't have them like this, just make them. To CPU, I'm gonna add one more core and have acceleration enabled. Pump up the video memory like it is and do not enable 3D or 2D acceleration. To storage, you're gonna right click the controller and remove it and add an IDE controller. Go to hard disk and choose a vid the VDI we just created. Now you're gonna choose our ISO to the optical drive. So the rest of the settings uh, looks good to me. So we're just gonna click OK and start. And now the virtual machine should start. Okay, I'm just gonna maximize this window and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see closely. You're gonna get four options and you wanna click the installation option uh, with your arrows and enter. Now you're gonna get this menu and you're gonna go ahead and click create or modify partitions. Hit no, you don't wanna use GPT and with your arrows and enter, click new, primary and enter to your size. Hit enter on bootable and you'll see that a boot flag has been added to the partition. Now you're gonna go with your arrows left and right and go to right, the last option, and just type in yes and hit enter. So now your partition is being saved onto the hard drive and it's making the modifications we just told it to. Now with your left and right arrows, go to quit and hit enter. You will see that our partition has been added. You're gonna click enter on it. If you have any other partitions, they're gonna show up. NTFS and FAT32 are for Windows, but for Linux like Android, Zorin OS, Ubuntu, Kali Linux, go ext4. Hit yes to format our partition. And now it's gonna format it. Hit yes to grub and skip to grub2. Hit yes to read and write. System, uh, Folder, and now I'm going to fast forward this part because it might take a while.
Now you're gonna get to this page. I'm gonna go devices and to optical drives, remove disk. You can also right click down here in the corner if you want to and get the same menu. Now on this window, you're gonna click force and mount. And as, as I was saying you, you can right click this and you're gonna get a menu with it. So, uh, okay, you're gonna get this menu. It, the exact same you're gonna get at the top. So now go with your arrows and hit reboot. And in the grub, you're gonna select Android x86. You also get this menu when you have multiple operating systems like you have Ubuntu and Windows dual booted like I do. I get this menu every time I boot my computer to select my OS. So now it's just pretty much gonna boot to Android. I'm gonna switch to full screen. And now you should see the Android boot animation. This might take a while, so um, I think I'm gonna skip through this and I'm gonna get you straight to the OS. Okay, so now we're gonna go here to input and just uh, disable the mouse, and now uh, I'm just gonna go back to full screen. And you're gonna click on the screen and hit capture. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time on How to IT.